Good morning children, this video is for anyone in the Obelisk group, here is your fluent in five starter, so now press pause and do the five questions please. And here are your answers for your fluent in five starter, please pause and check your answers. Brilliant. Today, children, we're going to be doing our final lesson division and we're going to be looking at dividing a four digit number by a one digit number. So we've got two questions here. We're going to use the same principle that we've used, but we're just going to look at the written method today. Because this is the method that when you when you are doing an arith arithmetic test, this is the method we would like you to use. So it's simple as we've been doing. How many fives go into each number? And if we have anything left over, we have to carry it across. Just to come, just to let you know, we are doing numbers without remainders today. So how many fives go into five? Five goes into five once. Five goes in with nothing remaining. Five goes into five one time, and it has four remaining. So five goes into, so there we go. So now we've got 42. How many fives go into 42? Eight, and we have two remaining. Five goes into 20 four times. So 5,920 divided by five equals 1,184. Our second example, how many sevens go into six? So we're doing 6,594 divided by seven. How many sevens go into six? Well, this number is greater than this number. So straight away, we put a zero here and we put our six in front of our five. Seven, how many sevens go into 65? Seven times nine is 63. And that leaves us with two. Seven times four equals 28. And we have one remaining. And that equals 14. How many sevens go into 14? Two. So our answer for 6,594 divided by seven equals 942. Now, very short input today. There are questions for you to do on find, doing four digit divided by one digit. Please rewatch this video. Carry on going through checking your answers. When you've got to the end, make sure you're doing the reasoning questions and reading them quite carefully. If you do any problems, please feel free to email me and I can help you as, as much as I can. Thank you.